Hello. When discussing the art of zombie proofing your home, two things are very important. The point of escape, and of course, the point of attack. In this video, I will show you exactly the point of escape, the point of attack, in segment one of my five-part series of how to zombie proof your home. Let us begin. Apartment building. Simple apartment building at that. Unsuspecting home, household, there can be a risk of a zombie attack. Last to go inside. As you see into this beautiful home, lock that door right there. You see, there's a big balcony in the front, a porch area. All this, very nice. Some pizza been there from the party night before. But look at these screens. These screens are begging for a zombie attack. Look, a lizard. Look at that. In this room here, nothing but net here, net there, net all around. Zombie keeps you tear through these nets and get into your house. This is not a safe house. Even more important, look at the craftsmanship of the door. Glass. Easily breakable by any zombie threat. Deemed pretty much useless. Look through the building room. Windows, all made of what? Glass. Zombies can break through this. This room is not a place to hide from a zombie attack. Not even a good place for escape. Considering beyond this, other houses, but nothing but grass, open space. Not even suitable near a parking lot to get to your vehicle to escape. This room is deemed hazardous. It should be avoided at all costs in a zombie attack. Stay out of your living room. The kitchen. Dirty dishes, knives, microwave. Shit that be useless in a zombie attack, because knives are not useful weapons to defend against a zombie attack, people. Let's make our room to the second of this room. We see here, this is the bedroom. This is where all the magic will be happening. The bathroom is the greater point of attack. And escape. A window up here. High enough to the zombies cannot get you, but you can escape from them. A shower. This glass is not very thick, but needs to be pulled open. Zombies do not have the ability to pull things, only to push and grab. This will fuck them up. Sliding door. At first glance, it appears there's no door there at all. Look, camouflage. You can no longer tell there's even a door there. It just seems like a wall. It will take the zombies some time to figure out how to open this sliding door. Perfect for a zombie escape and zombie attack. This window here. Totally useless, but it goes up to this field. It goes right into the woods. Depending on the area the zombies choose to attack from, it's going to be a make or break area for your zombie escape. This closet, made of glass, mirrors, all this other useless things. Not good for a zombie escape, attack, or anything. We leave the bedroom. We focus on the other parts of the home. Another bedroom. Pretty much the exact same crap ship as the one we just entered. But this closet. Notice the woodmanship of this closet door. Thick oak wood. But entering this closet, that's right, people, I'm inside the closet. Zombies no longer know where I am or what I am doing. A perfect place to hide and plan for a zombie attack. There seems to be no light in here. Let's escape now. We're now going to do the outside of this beautiful home. As we approach the outside, you look at the stairwell, staircase. Perfect for getting higher ground. The zombies can use and will use stairs. You see there, we find a zombie has been able to use some sort of riding lawnmower. It must be a Mexican zombie. But I digress. This home is located not very far from where the parking lot is which may or may not be a breaking point depending on how fast you are, how good you are starting your car, and most importantly, how close the zombies get before you notice you're under a zombie attack. As here, this parking lot's about 20 yards, good 20, 30 feet from the home. Perfect for making your zombie escape. Doing the aforementioned zombie attack. In part two of this video, we'll discuss weapons, People that will be in your zombie apocalypse survival team, and most importantly, supplies that you will need to survive a zombie attack.